TikTok, a very good morning to you. I'm back with a live stream. I've been live streaming um, pretty much every day now for the last, I don't know, maybe a week or so. Uh, what I would like for you before we make the first call, uh, which is a, which is going to be a consultation to the United States, is to help me like and share the live so we can build up the audience, which is always a good thing. Wouldn't you say so? The more participants, I would say the better. Okay. So a very good morning to Jeremy, Danielle, uh, Nick, um, Lisa, Miksha, how are you? And let's do this. Let's give the client a call. Guys, come. Duji, you just take both cameras from the start, okay? Okay. So that's you. And TikTok. also, sorry? TikTok. This is TikTok. And then I'm going to give you also Instagram. And then you come around this side after he picks up the phone. Just wait one minute. I don't want to show the number. It's, okay, now you can come. It's fine. The lens is very dirty. Both sides. No problem, leave it be. Now you'll have to hold this phone. That's right. Okay, and now he's not picking up. Even though he said ready when you are, and I said couple of minutes, and it's already a couple of minutes. Brooks. Hey there, Rashad, how are you? Very good to see you. My goodness, you're looking younger and younger. <laughs> you too. It's, uh, when was the last time we do, spoke right? like this? A couple of years ago? A couple of years ago, yeah. When I built you that jacket? Yeah, that's right. It looks great. So that I jacket it. I made you in September 2023. So is it 2023? I think we, I think I did shirts uh, for a while and the jacket was 2022 maybe? 2021 was the jacket. 2021, 2021. Wow, yeah. Geez. Right in the middle of, I mean, the pandemic for you guys and stuff. Wait, are you still in Boston? Yeah, that's right. And are you working for Harvard? Still am. Yep. What do you What do you do for them? Uh, I do things in academic advising for our incoming first year students, our freshmen. How long have you been uh, with them? About twenty years now. Wow. Time. And did you go to Harvard? I did. Undergrad. Years ago. And graduate yeah. school. Just undergrad. And you you got this job straight out of undergrad? Yeah. Been there for a while. And they look after you. They look after me. I, I gotta look. I gotta look good for them. So that's why what. What do you wear here. to work every day? Uh, in the school year, a suit about three days a week, and then, um, you know, jacket or something a little more casual a couple days a week. In the summer, it's, it's a lot more casual. So, aside from the summer, you have a jacket on every day? Yeah, yeah. And it's virtually always a Sam's jacket? Always. Only a Sam's jacket? Yeah. I appreciate you. I really do. I mean yeah. it. Uh, you know, our evolution together, I think, has been great. You know what I mean? From in person to emails <laughs> to yeah. video i mean it's just awesome do you follow my adventures oh yeah 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 i'm trying to get you back back stateside too so i just i was just, just in dallas, dallas but up here in the northeast yeah i was just in dallas and it was just remarkable because bro i don't even understand how to explain this feeling because i cannot even digest the feeling it's like i mean literally everywhere i walked everywhere i went like people approached me and they recognized me and in some vein or whatsoever and asked, you know, for a photo and stuff. It was it was just incredible. My family there was like blown away. They couldn't fucking believe it. You know what I mean? The United States is halfway across the world, right? You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it was just a crazy experience for me. And, you know, as much fun as I had in Dallas and I had a great time, I had so, you know, just all good things. Uh, you know, I didn't have a bad day there. Um, my family really go rolled out the golden carpet for me. Uh, and stuff, but you know, literally wherever I went, I was recognized. I just found it so incredible. I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to digest something like that, bro. Seriously, you know what I mean? I just yeah, don't. I it was quite wild. Okay, so we're gonna build you a beautiful blue suit today. Okay, I'm, as I've done before, I'm gonna pass the phone to a colleague of mine so I can talk freely. Okay, so sure. just bear with me one second. Hand this phone over to my colleague. And then just make sure you can see and hear me at all times, okay? Can you? You can see me just fine? 
Yeah. Okay, great stuff. So, have you ever thought of having a double-breasted suit? Yeah, but that's not, that's not going to have it on this one. Okay, that's fine. No problem. I wore double-breasted blue today uh, just because I don't know how long we've been working together. Uh, we've always made single-breasted suits. I know. I'm a creature of habit here. Uh, and, and pretty much so am I. Um, okay, you've chosen a great blue. I couldn't be happier with it. Okay, I really couldn't. The environment in Harvard is quite conservative, correct? Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not, you know, it would be all right to go a little bit out of, uh, out of the ordinary. But Will you go one shade lighter, or is that going to be too much for you? Mm, I think I want to go the, a little bit more conservative. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we're going to stick with um, your original pick, which, like I said, I'm very happy with. I love the fabric. Ooh, I've already cut it here. I love the fabric, um, the quality of it. Otherwise, I obviously wouldn't recommend it to you. I really like the color because it's not super dark. You can see it's lighter than my navy suit as yeah. well. Um, so yeah, and if, if 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 I wasn't happy with the fabric, I think you know me, I would have haggled with you over it, okay? All right, so the lining, you had two choices. I definitely think that you should go for the more playful one. Is that good with you? So let me see, is it, it, what is the background color there? Black. So that, it, how does that, how is it going to work with the navy? Is that, it, what do you think? Uh, if I didn't like it, I would tell you, right? It's sort of blue, yeah, I just want to see. If I didn't like it, I would tell you, but in terms of what goes better, this definitely goes better because it's brighter. Yeah. But it's more simplistic. And since I'm not making you suits super often, and since it's about three years since your last jacket, I'd rather you have something more playful. Yeah, I, I do like the, those, um, those flowers. Um, I, I think that, I, I guess the question for me is the brightness. It, it, this seems a little, it's almost a little dark compared to the, the stripes. So you feel it's too dark, correct? Yeah. Okay, no problem at all. I agree with you. What about this guy here? I think that's lovely. Hmm, I do kind of like that. This I think is beautiful. Would you like yeah, to switch? Let's do, let's do this one, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna cover a lot of ground today. Um, I want to start by talking about the style of the jacket. Is it still something very classic? You would like a two button jacket for the suit? Yes. Or are you willing to drop down to a one button jacket like I did for your last uh, sport coat? Yeah, I think for the suit, we'll give it two buttons. Okay, would you like to do a three roll two, which is just decorative like this? So where it's a two button jacket, you wear it as a two button jacket and you have a third button underneath the roller lapel and a third button hole in the roller lapel. Would you like to try that? It's very Americana. Ooh, that's a little aggressive. Um, okay, so we stick to two buttons. Yeah, let's stick to two. Great stuff. I'll give you a Barquetta breast pocket with a curve and kick, okay? Rather than yeah, a straight probably. breast pocket. So it looks very uh, tailored, okay? I'll give you the dot, 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 hand needle and thread pick stitching. Can you see the dotted Perfect. stitching? The dotted yeah, stitching? Yeah, I love that. So it has a tailored look to it. I'll give you a real buttonhole, of course just a single one, to wear pin, badge, flower, corsage. I'll give you four overlapping buttons on a fully functional cuff, all right? Great. Now, will you agree to a ticket pocket? Uh, what, what, show me something else. I, I, I like that, but I don't, I'm not sure if I can quite get there, so show me mm -hmm. what else you recommend. So, I mean, I want to slant the pockets because it's a solid fabric, right? I don't see the need to go straight because there's absolutely no detailing in the cloth, right? It's just plain. And also because it's a solid fabric and a two button suit, I would like to add the ticket pocket. So I would like to have the pocket slightly slanted, slightly undersized flaps and a kissing ticket pocket. Timeless. Do you think that will hit that mark? So, you know, I'm with, with the ticket pocket, it's been around for centuries, right? Like, you know, well before our time. 
uh, and stuff. And you can see there's another ticket pocket here on this jacket. And the thing yeah. is that if you look at, you know, the very progressive stores in the United States now, they may not necessarily be American brands. Like Suit Supply is Dutch, but you know, you know, most Suit Supply high-end jackets will have a ticket pocket, right? Tom Ford, which is the greatest American designer of our generation, greatest designer of our generation, right? Always has ticket pockets on his suits, right? That's his signature and stuff. But I don't want you to do anything that you can't swallow, right? If I was making you suits like some of my other clients every other month, every six months and so forth, then I would push you harder, okay? Um, it's been three years since the last sports jacket, so I don't know how many years since the last suit. So if you, if you wanted to fold, if you wanted to basically, you know, say no to the ticket pocket, I wouldn't mind. But I would definitely slant the pockets just slightly. Okay, so we will do a kissing ticket pocket, so it's very modern. Okay, we will do only slightly slanted and slightly under, and then slightly undersized. This one's even worse. Okay, great. In the back of the jacket, I recommend just a single vent. You're not a huge guy, you don't need a double. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good to me. And then just a short vent, so it gives you a little bit of a pop at the back, rather than a tall vent that just hangs straight. You're not, you know, on, on an airline seat all the time. Is that cool with you? Yeah, that sounds good. You live in Massachusetts, so definitely full lining. Yes. Not half lining like here in Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah. Um, the pants, you prefer buckles or belt loops? Belt loops. Pleat or flat front? I think flat front. I think, uh, sure. I know that the pleat is coming back, but I Definitely. think I'm still going to go flat front. Cuffs or no cuffs? Uh, no cuffs. Okay, so belt loops, flat front, and no cuffs. Wonderful. Okay. The buttons, I don't think you should have navy buttons. I think you should have the dark brown. Now, let me see. Okay. The other one I was looking at was the blue up top. What are you this one? It's before? very aggressive. Based on what you've told me so far, it's very Too aggressive. Much. That doesn't mean I don't want you to have it. I would love for you to have it. Here they are. But if you're wary about other things, then... This is a pretty aggressive button. If you're happy to digest it, I'm very happy to give it to you. But then it, you know, it, it does, it, it, it doesn't scream anything conservative whatsoever. It's the opposite. Whereas, <coughs> I don't want you, to, I don't want to derail your idea though. Whereas the brown buttons, or even the light tan, give you a much more contemporary look, without screaming at you. So let me ask about the brown buttons with like black shoes. Yeah, there's no like issues. That's... No issues whatsoever. Absolutely not. Okay, let's let's do the brown. Okay, great stuff. Okay. Underneath the collar, we will do a contrasting etro esque flannel. Okay? We'll use Marzoni flannel for you. And we can stay in a brown theme or a blue theme or pretty much anything. But what I think will go great is this color underneath the collar. Sure, that was great. Great stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Talk about some other stuff now. The suit jacket needs to be half an inch uh, larger in the belly. No problem. Have you put on weight? Oh, a little bit. Not, not too much, but just enough. Okay, great stuff. And no other changes. The trouser waist is fine, correct?
the shirts I'm making for you. This blue here, I'll turn it around so I can read. Okay. The same thing in white. The same yep. thing in pink. And this sensational Bengal stripe. I couldn't be happier with your shirt selections. Okay? Great, yeah, perfect. The shirt should be in the same style as before. However, the, around the belly button, it should be half an inch larger. No issues whatsoever. Okay? Wonderful shirts. Absolutely wonderful shirts. All right? Great. Okay. And you really would like them exactly like before, with a very conservative collar, correct? Yes. Okay, so I'll make a, uh, a very conservative collar for you, uh, old school classic American collar, all right? I will give you the double button cuff, right? Double yeah. barrel cuff. And you like round edge, again, cut edge or straight edge? I think I'm getting the round edge, right? So you want to stick to round edge or you want to mix it up and cut the edge? Um, maybe, you know what, how about one of them, let's, can we, can we do one of them with a, with a cut and then just to sort of see how it feels, maybe the, um... Let's do the stripe with the cut edge since it's vertical lines, sure. okay? Mm -hmm. So sure. the stripe will be a double barrel cuff with a cut edge and the other three solids will be rounded, okay? Perfect. You're good with that, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Inside the collar and underneath the cuff, you would like to contrast the fabrics or leave them the same? Um, I've done contrasting on the light blue one before. Yes. I like that a lot. Yes. Like I, it, maybe with the pink, I don't know if, that's, if that works. Okay. Um, so let's put. You can't really do it with the white, though. No, we can. Let's do the blue stripes and the blue. Yeah, that's great. Let's do that. Okay, for sure, without a doubt. Let's go ahead and put the blue in the blue stripes because that decorates it nicely. Sure. Okay, now, with the pink, I would do the blue. Are you good with that? Yeah, yeah Excellent. that's a great combo. And then with the white, we either go aggressive with the blue stripes because there's a lot of white in there, right? Or we go very mellow and put the pink in. Mm. I would do the blue stripes. Yeah, let's do the stripes. Let's do it. Okay, great. I will still be doing mother of pearl buttons for you. All right. I will be doing a seven eighth placket for you. Very modern. Like I did last time. No pocket, right, on the shirts? Correct. And you still like the box pleat in the back, very Americana, correct? Yes. Okay. Initials, BBLS on the cuff. Yes. And BLS on the gusset. Yes. Okay. So the initials on the white shirt, should I make in this light blue? Um, It'll go great with a blue suit as well. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. Uh, the initials on the blue shirt will do navy blue. Sure. The initials on the blue and white striped shirt will do navy blue, okay? The initials on the pink shirt, do you want to do this blue here or you would like to do burgundy? Um, oh, we can do burgundy. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Bro, excellent. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Um, no, I do have one question. The sphere sucker, is that a sphere sucker jacket hanging behind you? Yeah. No, no. This is a linen jacket uh, yeah. that, is, uh, that is basically woven to look like a sphere sucker. Yeah, so I have Seersucker, which I sent you the photo of, right? Yeah. And then I have this linen, it's brand new stock. So we've been working with it maybe just a few weeks. You will see my, this is a new book and hardly anything cut out of it. And this is the actual linen. So this is 100% pure Italian linen, but it looks like Seersucker.
So it doesn't have the bubbles. Looks exactly like seersucker, but it, there's more structure to it. Would you like to have this jacket made? Not right now, but I really, I like that a lot. Okay, excellent. So you yeah. keep that in mind and uh, you can let me know anytime and we can pull the trigger on it when you're ready, okay? Deal, sounds good. So I'm making you one two-piece suit and four shirts, correct my friend? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank if you, you would like to be tagged in my live stream, okay? Please text me your Insta uh, and your city, okay? Buddy, I'm gonna say bye. If I have any questions, I'll text you. And when the suit is ready, I'll call you to present it to you. Okay, buddy? Perfect. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. See you soon. Come, you go inside. Now you leave this all here. You'll figure it out later. Come, guys. Thank you very much. We did it ourselves, huh? See, I'll explain something to you guys now. You know what I mean? The Western mentality is a very shit mentality. I'll tell you honestly. You people say no staff, treat the staff good. Where's it? Yeah, you bring. Where's the AC? Oh, yeah. No staff, treat the staff good, all this stuff. You see, it has to, the most important thing is that the money comes from the customer. We have to do everything for the client. And first and foremost, you have to fucking show up to work, considering that you are uh, drawing a salary, right? I only had Nari and Durji here this morning. Which means Durji held two phones and Nari held one. And I had to write uh, uh, the notes myself. I would much rather be in free, free flow. Um, but it is what it is, right? You know what I mean? I don't think you guys are democracy. You're fucking, I don't know, fucking socialist fucks or something. Hmm. You guys are your own thing. You know I mean you're not even socialists? Seriously, you guys are weirdos. You know I mean this rights for everybody stuff, non hierarchy. Every person is equal. Employee and CEO are the same thing. You know what I mean you're fucking stupidity. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to your turn to be a client, and you don't, you have this lack of um, uh, people helping you you'll understand, right, how much better it is in Asia and stuff. And you're going to turn yourself into how Europe is, where it's too expensive to even afford to hire anybody. You know what I mean? Like, you know, every little shop is going to have just like one employee. We still use Vitaly Barberis. It's not going to go anywhere. Do you guys have any questions? If you have questions, I will stay with you. If you have no questions, then I shall go. Oh, my goodness. And I mean, like, serious questions. Thank you. You noticed my Cole Hans? I appreciate you, Lisa. I bought them in Dallas. I bought them at Stonebriar or North Park Mall. I have no idea which one. Very quick and easy consultation. Brooks is very appreciative of us and vested in us. I think everybody enjoys the team meetings. Uh, shirt's sure a bit too basic for me. Uh, I learned tailoring on the job. Uh, I appreciate you, Brandon. I know you enjoyed your time here. Well, I surrounded you by with bodies, you remember? I, I like the boulder button too, but it's not gonna work with you know the direction that he's heading in, right? So I'll give him what he wants, but he's also retained me to consult for him, right? I think sure it's a pretty classic. Nothing uh, great about them. Massachusetts is so cold, uh, absolutely so cold. I'm a gorgeous man. You can't understand how gorgeous I am. Lisa, no need to answer the haters. Monk, thank you for sharing the live with everybody. I appreciate it. Yeah, great celebrities have been to my shop, including Kevin Spacey, two-time Oscar winner. That's the thing about Americans, right? Like, they'd like to destroy their own heroes. You know, Michael Phelps. Um, 
who's my favorite guy? Lance Armstrong, uh, Kevin Spacey. I don't focus on wishes. I focus on making stuff happen. Lisa, thank you for the gift. I appreciate you. Bumble Clut, I'm doing great. Danielle, thank you for sharing the live. Ron Four Ferrets. Ron has Four Ferrets. I love my show too. I appreciate your love. Warlord, thank you. Uh, Warlord, God, thank you for everything. Okay, some hellos. Um, Lisa, Danielle, you guys are amazing to me. You mean night after night after night. I really, really appreciate you guys. I cannot even tell you what a blessing the two of you are to me. You mean just an absolute blessing uh, and, and stuff. It's only showing me top viewers today as opposed to uh, all the viewers. If I could see all the viewers, then uh, I would acknowledge all of you. Brandon, I'm grateful to you for joining me uh, night after night. I don't know how many suits I own. I own a lot of suits now. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. I am a beast in every sense. I work, 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 work. Mm. CeeLo, I, I won't uh, forget you. The most expensive fabric I think we use is, uh, that I know we use is uh, Piacenza. I'm looking forward to you receiving your, your package, Brandon, and for you and your wife uh, to uh, try on your new stuff. I don't have any favorite fabric to work with. My suits are a thousand US dollars. I own so many suits. I am a gorgeous man. If you'd like to work with me, you can do so by coming to Hong Kong. You can do so by sending me your measurements to the measurement chart on my website and we can work together virtually. virtually. Or you, you can, I can send a rep to the nearest major city that you're in, but it's the appointment is for committed purchase. There's no browsing in my field, nothing, uh, and stuff, no perusing. So if you'd like to meet a, a, a rep in Western Europe or North America, it can be done, but it needs to be for a committed purchase. Aurelius Max, I appreciate everything that you've done uh, for me over the years. Uh, this is the watch that I'm wearing today. You like it? It's all iced up. I have no favorite watch though. Nothing in life is hard, man. Taking a step, crossing the road is hard. You get run over. I exclusively wear my own suits. I don't wear suits when I'm off uh, work. Definitely not. I've just come back from Dallas, Texas recently. I spent 17 days there. I'm definitely very okay. Uh, how do I get customers globally? I, I make videos, I live stream and stuff. People pass on the word. I appreciate you, Chrysanthemum. I hope to work with you soon. My father yells at me on a daily basis, morning, noon, and night. I have not digitized my order books. My family, my grandfather came to Hong Kong in 1952. My Sam Sailor was set up in 1957. I'm located in Hong Kong and my suits are 1,000 US dollars. I've gotten into many fights. Hello, Jake Murphy. Great questions today. I got great barbecue in Texas. Yeah, I went to Hutchins. You guys heard of that? Uh, so I do still water first, like, you know, tap water and shit first. Hello, no Mian, long time. And then I do sparkling. Abdul, you can work with me, but you have to pay. John Huss, you know I'm the best in the industry and I appreciate you. Uh, I, my degree was a waste of time, but spending time in New York and you know, meeting people was, uh, I guess, worthwhile. How do I know it's committed purchase? You send cash up in advance. Nobody's gonna uh, uh, work with you. Mm. I'm not hiring anybody. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. My earrings are from Marks and Spencer. The books behind me are client order books. Yeah, I miss that <laughs> Korean barbecue place as well. I haven't been back to it, I think. I'm not sure if I went back when I came back. Of course, I went, I went back with you when I came back from Dallas, what am I saying? But I don't think I've been, hang, been uh, there since. I was in Frisco eating at Hutchins Barbecue. You check it out on my YouTube. The video's there.
Uh, my suits are cheap considering everything we give. I mean, this was such a simple suit, but it, uh, it had so much. I can make a new blazer using Vic Vicuna wool, no problem at all. Uh, bro, why don't you just enjoy me here? I didn't like living in New York, it was too cold for me. It was absolutely too cold. A suit is 1,000 US dollars. Packrat, I wish we had met. I mean, I advertised it globally that I was in Dallas. I know I'm a beast, you know, I don't listen to clowns. I got my ears pierced in some back alleys. Bucky's was <laughs> amazing. I mean, even at Bucky's, people were coming up to me. It was ridiculous. I'll release those videos soon. Even at Bucky's, people were coming up to me and, you know, taking photos with me and stuff. I was even recognized at Bucky's in Madisonville, Texas. Goodness me. Um, yeah, I got you, <laughs> Brandon. Um, I see a question I want to answer. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, I can send someone to meet you in Chicago and take your order, or you can work with me directly. Abdul, whatever you want. My post, oh, I put a vlog up on my Instagram and my YouTube. Check it out on my Instagram and my YouTube. Uh, I'll try and put it up on TikTok later. Uh, uh, just a Dallas vlog. Check it out. So with me, first send me your measurements for the measurement chart on my website. It's samstaylor.com. Thank you, Stoic Nation. Uh, Matthew Wildchild, nice to see you. Suit is $1,000 US for the 75th time. Crazy, huh, that I went to Bucky's and, and everybody in Bucky's recognized me. Uh, I can make you a corduroy suit or a black suit, whatever what you'd like. I have PayPal, but you have to send me a bank transfer. I'm into gorgeous over 18 year old women. Karma is amazing. I think he was a horse of the year. I mean, what he's done four wins in 11 months is incredible. Uh, and he will start racing again next season. I think the season begins on September 8th or something. I don't know when he'll race though during the season. Um, I'll give you a, a stat here. Okay. So a horse, right, has only 0.6% chance of getting one win in a season, okay? A horse has only, every season, every horse has only 0.6% chance of getting one win. And if you don't get that win, that the odds don't carry to the next season. It doesn't increase, right? Karma got three wins in a season, four wins in 11 months. That's how good a horse Karma is. Can you believe that? We are in the same location as we opened in 1957, uh, 67 years in the same location. I can't wait for Karma to race again. These are client order books behind me. I was just in the United States. I'm not going to come back. <laughs> if you missed me, uh, it's a thousand US dollars for a suit. I mean, uh, you, say, what, you know, Americans have a, a big problem wiring money. You know what I mean, uh, everywhere else on the planet, it's issue, no problem. You just pull out the app on your phone and you send cash to people. I went to Walmart. I went to um, Target. I shot videos in both hilarious videos. I'm 100% Indian. I went to KL not so long ago, it's so about one and a half years ago, so, and I've been to KL many times, so I doubt I will come again. I think Bucky's was great. It had everything. It had gigantic bathrooms and nice bathrooms and great staff. Texas videos are all over my YouTube. I like Hong Kong and I like the red states in the United States. I don't like the blue states. It's just way too progressive uh, for me. I've said that over and over again. I don't like to be in a place where Every person is equal and there's no hierarchy. Like, you know, the bum on the street is equal to the CEO. Hong Kong people buy suits from me. I fucking post a unique video. Where do, you, where do I get all the young Chinese boys then? <laughs> I mean, it's a stupid question. Why would I come to Detroit, Michigan, man? It's so fucking cold. Are you crazy? <laughs> what the fuck is there to do there? There's no Isaiah Thomas. There's no Bill Lambier anymore. You know what I mean? The fucking Palace of Auburn Hills is dead. I take cash. Karma is an amazing horse. I wanted to buy, I wanted to flex, right? Some people want to buy a Ferrari. I'm not interested in that shit. I bought a fucking race horse. You know what I mean? I bought a fucking thoroughbred that's won four times.
Uh, I'm wearing a double-breasted suit. Okay, I'll, I mean, I, if I get up, I have to like, you know, basically you're not going to see me. So you should have watched the start of the live stream, like I say, every single day. <clears throat> so you can see everything. Uh, my business was started in 1957, long before me. This is my 25th year on the job. I own a horse, yes. What is so confusing uh, about this? The pins I'm wearing are gifts from my clients. Uh, there's no double breasted pocket. I live in China, correct? Dior Thai, 100%. Oh, now they come in quick, thick and fast suddenly. Let me go back to where we were. Oh my goodness, I have so many favorite suits. How, how do I choose? What's the favorite thing about my father? Nothing. I haven't been to Switzerland since the 1980s. Would love to go back. I mean, Chris Krasik, there's no point in putting things on your bucket list, and this is to everybody, right? If you want to do something, do it immediately. Don't write lists and save shit up to do. You're not making fucking sense. The only thing you save in life is money. Shit you do. You know what I'm saying? And that's fucking basically it. You can purchase suits from me. I grew up in Hong Kong. I do. I work out outdoors only. I only go to the gym if I'm shooting content with someone. I don't care who I work with. I just want to work. I very rarely leave Hong Kong and visit uh, other countries. Well, I mean, look, I mean, every place is unique and different, right? I had a great... Okay, let's just talk post-pandemic. So I went to KL as soon as uh, Hong Kong opened and there was no quarantine. I went to Kuala Lumpur, quick, very short flight, know the city well. Um, I uh, then went to Tokyo and Osaka and Tokyo just absolutely blew me away, which is an incredible place. Then I went to Dubai and I was even blown away even more. Uh, sensational. And then I went to Dallas and it was so wholesome and uh, amazing and everybody recognized me. And it was the same thing in Dubai. Everybody recognized me. The same thing in Tokyo and Osaka. So, you know, I don't have a favorite place to go. And I very rarely, 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 R-A-R-E-L-Y. Uh, you know, I'm conscious that most of my audience is American and you guys have a very poor grasp of proper English. Um, uh, it, that, yeah, I very rarely travel and stuff. So, I mean, I'm not making bucket lists in my head and shit. Uh, slim fit for everybody, without a doubt. Uh... I think, you know, I think I, I got into really bad shape when I moved. To, so I was in college for three years, then back living with my parents for six months, then in London for a year working, living alone, and then back living with my parents for a couple of years. But when my parents moved out, 2002 World Cup, my parents moved out. That's when I started to get really unhealthy because I was a little bit older. And I was living alone. And then, you know, I'd come home and pour a drink every night and I, I'd have pizza and one night burger the next pizza one night no burger the next i'd be out all the time and shit i'd be drinking every night and then i got really unhealthy and, and very very chunky so i was chunky for a short period of time i would say 2005 i suddenly put on a lot of weight when my metabolism started to slow down and then it was a long journey back but i you know i wouldn't say long journey i quickly lost a lot of weight and i've remained in great shape always i have no plans to expand my tailoring business but i just recently opened up an office in dallas texas You saw me last August or you purchased a suit from me last August? I think it's irrelevant how much money that I win if the horse wins, right? It's a lot of money and stuff, but I paid a lot of money for the horse and the upkeep for the horse is a lot. So, so it's irrelevant how much I win. The, what's relevant is I'm in the fucking game. I respond to every comment and DM because I'm dedicated to my fans. Hong Kong is in China, of course. I stream all the time. Um, 
Where do we get sand? Yeah, here we go. Li Yuing, I appreciate your love. I'm six foot four inches tall. The horse lives in a stable. Where the fuck? I mean, this is what I mean. I mean, Jesus, the fuck? First thing you learn in school is about fucking Jesus Christ, right? Where the fuck is the horses from? The fucking stable. I mean, how fucking dumb are you? Please tell me which country you're from. Silo. Which country are you from? Own up. Someone's first suit should be a black suit. I love my kids. I love myself. I don't really love fashion or anything else. Favorite part of my life is being with my son. I don't like the Kingsman, no. English suits are made by English people. <laughs> Not anymore, though. Italian suits are somewhat made by Italian people. The golden cup behind me is a business award that I won. I got into this business because I want to bring my client's vision to life. I think I'd already showed my watch off uh, a few minutes ago. Here it is again. And if you can't see the ice, then you're blind. I speak a little bit of Cantonese. I pay attention to the circus of politics that's going on in the United States. It's, it's pretty silly stuff. I don't have a favorite tie. I've been working out since, uh, for, for, for many years, bro. I mean, it's part of life. Everybody should be working out. I mean, if you're not working out, there's something seriously fucking wrong with you in the minority. We're trying to, I'm trying to mold my son into the next superstar. I've been to Korea in the 1980s. At least once, maybe twice, can't remember. First, you tell me, Silo, which country you're from. My dad is miserable. He's in Europe right now. My first time in KL was in 2006. I don't need employees, guys. I need clients. I mean, suits are very historical, right? So if you're not informed about suits, then I think you're fucking pretty stupid, right? Polsky, Jerry, I appreciate you. I appreciate the gifts. You're better off saving your money to purchase a suit from me. Or you can uh, purchase merch from me. Plentyofconsent.com. Plentyofconsent.com. Uh, I have a baseball cap. Six different t types of t-shirts. I think is it six? It's, it's three. It's, it's called six t-shirts. Six sweaters and two underwear. And the stuff is very cheap. I can sign any items you purchase. I can video the signing or do any other sort of personalized video for you uh, and send that to you as well once you make the purchase and stuff. You're better off saving the money here than for that, buy merch from me to support me rather than spending this money on TikTok, which will take 50%. But I still appreciate the gifts. My business in Panama. I went to Panama in 2005, January. What on earth are you asking me? I post every single day, Nate Anderson. I mean, you're talking nonsense, really. Make your last suit. I don't understand the fuck. Why would I talk about my demise? Silo, you tell us where you're from first. Then I'll continue answering your questions. I do not have an office in New York. I have an office in Dallas. You can work with me virtually or I can send someone to you in Manhattan to take your order. Uh, this is my 25th year on the job. I started February 2000. I just opened an office in Dallas. Let's see how that goes. A suit is 1,000 US dollars. How, I, I don't go and visit my horse, guys. I mean, I, I'm a busy fucking guy. 
the f f fuck am I going to go and do and see, see a horse in a fucking stable for? Everyone should know about suits. So if you're committed to making a purchase at my Dallas office, email me and I will set you up with an appointment to make a purchase, not to browse or peruse. Taxes are super low in Hong Kong. I don't watch cartoons. Where do you start learning to about suits? Watch all my videos on my YouTube channel, at Sam's Taylor. You can watch my live streams and my videos there. You'll learn so much about suits. I mean, what do you mean? Do you think you can wear a watch with a suit? Who doesn't wear a fucking watch? People wear watches when they work out, when they swim. Suits can definitely be adjusted, retailed after uh, they are made. No, I don't like New York. I, it's too fucking aggressive for me. You know, is, everybody think, is an asshole. Seriously, it's not, not my jive. Uh, we can start working together immediately, Pierce Rose. I went to NYU. Why do people copy and paste stuff, you mean, over and over again? I'm located in Hong Kong. My degree is finance and economics. I have never lived in India. I've just visited thrice and not for a very long time. I've been to Canada once very long time ago, just for two days to Toronto. It doesn't really count. I'm in Hong Kong. Isn't it awesome being referenced in Deadpool? How many of you guys saw that? How fucking good is that? I mean, look at my vernacular. It is absolutely viral and global. 4D fit, gift wrapped, young Chinese boy. I'm from Hong Kong. I've given a multitude of lectures in universities as well. Uh, my Dallas office in Dallas Farmer's Market, downtown Dallas. I've never been to Africa, not interested. I appreciate you, Lisa. So the, the fabric I'm wearing, right, for the barking beggars like uh, this guy, SHB, SBBB, is actually Chiruti 1881, okay? <laughs> so, so beat that. Yes, I deliver everywhere on the planet. These are client order books at the back. That boy, Mav, I appreciate your support. I've been to the Philippines, yes. I've been to Manila twice and Cebu once. I once dated a girl who was at FIT. Massimo, thank you for the gifts. <clears throat> You're better off saving that money and buying a suit from me. You can also buy merch from me, plentyofconsent.com, or buy a personalized video from me on my Cameo. I'm one of the highest rated cam uh, artists on Cameo. Cameo.com, Roshan Mawani, Sam's Taylor. Hello, Vancouver, Daliwal, how is it going? I've not been to the White House in DC, but my father has umpteen times. My father has even been to President Bush's ranch in, uh, in, in Texas and stuff. Um, I have uh, worked personally with three American presidents, President George W. Bush, so junior, once in person at the island Shangri-La here, President Bush senior twice, first time at the Conrad, second time at my store, and President Clinton many, many times, every time at the Grand Hyatt. My merch comes in XL, L, M, and S, like normal stuff. I don't know how tall I was when I was 15. I can ship to the Netherlands. I can ship anywhere. 
I think I've answered this. My my office is in Dallas is at the Dallas Farmers Market. Jesus, so much garbage. Let's see where we got up to. Any color tie goes with a gray suit, my God. I appreciate your love, A-Land. I've never been to Scotland, would love to come, but I'm scared of the cold, so probably will never go. I'm not involved at all. In fact, I'm not even in Hong Kong. I'm the fucking North Pole, and the elves are fucking making suits. I was born in Hong Kong. I had five nine and sixteen. I don't think you're gonna hit six four like me. Yes, I'm the guy referenced in Deadpool one hundred percent. What country does my horse race in? I mean, I don't understand the questions, man. You know I mean, I mean, I just how dumb are people? I am six foot four tall. I really hope I don't retire in Hong Kong. Uh. It's been the biggest benefit to me, you know what I mean? Being as tall as I am in a city like Hong Kong. The suit is thousand US dollars, wherever you buy it. My favorite color is yellow. Are you seriously coming to HKU to study? Let's talk when you actually get here and come and buy a suit. I am Indian, 100% Indian. I think Seosaka suits are great. I don't like to go to the cinema. Can't sit for so long. I don't know how many states I've been to, not many. Gosh, I mean, Texas, Florida, New York, Massachusetts, California. I think that's it. Five states, yeah. <laughs> My day is okay today. I appreciate you, Lee Ewing. I, work, I met Tom Segura and worked with him. I mean, we've been great friends now. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. You know, I'm very humbled, very flattered that someone of his stature would, would, who can buy suits anywhere and couldn't even get sponsored suits came to me. I'm not Muslim, no. I'm in Hong Kong. A suit is thousand US dollars. I, I, I don't think it's relevant which location I chose, right? The location is chosen. If you are in Dallas, you can book an appointment to make a purchase. And then that's that. Mm. I tried Duran in Singapore. Not really my thing. Massimo, thank you for the gifts.
I haven't been to Busan, no. I'm not interested in Africa because I'm not interested in people who always think that the world owes them something. You, you, you understand what I mean? I'm not interested in that type of people. It's just a pattern guy. Bro, it's a tie. A tie's a fucking tie. I'm definitely not rags to riches, bro. I'm born fucking paid. You gotta be kidding me. I spend my money, man. I pay my fucking kids' bills. You know how expensive it is to have three children? It doesn't matter what fabric you get. We're not making shitty suits, right? We're only using the best stuff there is, right? So you just pay me your $1,000 and we get going from there. Hello, B in Richmond, Virginia. You can buy shout outs from me on my cameo. I've worked with bodybuilders many times. My cameo is Roshan Mawani Sams Taylor on cameo.com. Well, you work out and you take care of yourself and you make money and you'll get girls. Uh, Tarzan's not coming in today. Simon hasn't arrived for the day. My website is samstaylor.com. Don't really care about the rights in the, in the United Kingdom. Stuff like this should be handled better. Suit is 1000 US dollars. There's a lot of psychos, you know I mean? So many psychos, I swear to God. I used to play a lot of tennis. I got into this business because I want to bring my clients vision to life. I've only been in Chicago airport in transit. I love the heat. Definitely baseball over golf. Golf is not a sport. Yeah, my beard is awesome. Yep, I uh, started in the amazing race. I think it was back in 2015. I don't remember when actually. I appreciate you, Ryan J. Kim. I don't care about the IPL. It's, it's bullshit. This is my 25th year working and making suits. Hello, Andy 88E. I only, we can only kiss if you're a gorgeous 18 year old woman, over 18 year old woman. I'm gonna say bye to Instagram. <clears throat> okay, I appreciate you guys. If you wanna stay with me, jump over to TikTok. If I could go back in time, I'd just buy Apple and Microsoft stock and do nothing but keep buying. There's a superpowers video of me all over the internet. Go check out my Instagram for it or my YouTube. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I'm 100% Indian. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, you can, yeah, you can jump onto TikTok and watch me here, Sam Steele live stream. My suits are 1,000 US dollars. People are short in Hong Kong, yes, 100%. I appreciate your love, Thomas. Hope to work with you. See you, Brandon, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, Sergio Jimenez. I'm far from stressed. Uh, no plans for Australia. You can come to Hong Kong and purchase a suit from me. I like John Bon Jovi, Michael Jackson. Don't have any favorite place in New York. Hello, Edinburgh student. I remember you. You never came to visit me. T Instagram, say bye. You can jump on the TikTok, okay?